Hey guys, I'm welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming. And if not, thanks so much for coming back. I just lost my train of thought for a moment there. So guys, I'm not feeling very well today. I have come down with a terrible cold. I got wet in the rain yesterday, so right now I'm kind of self-medicating, drinking some orange peel tea that hopefully will help. And as much as I don't think I'll be able to do any makeup today, I was really excited because I got some new goodies that I wanted to show you guys. So let's get into it. I really want this video to be as short as possible because I am very congested and I think I want to rest. So let's get so this it. video is going to be kind of chill because I don't think I have the energy to do anything else other than that. Um, I got these stuff yesterday. If you guys follow me or have been following me for a while, you guys know. And every once in a while, I get a little love package, you know, some makeup um, for my makeup angel. She know who she is. <laughs> and I got this stuff yesterday and I was so excited, but I really wasn't feeling well. But I didn't want another day to pass without me showing you guys what I got. So basically, I think I got everything in every category, um, be it full size or sample size, which I love just as much because it gives me the opportunity to test out new things. So first of all, I mean, I have everything laid out. I got everything in a box, but I have everything laid out because I've been interfering with this thing since yesterday. So first of all, most fun, I got the NARS liquid blush. Guys, I have nothing in NARS. I don't think I'll ever be able to afford anything in NARS. So I was really happy, you know, when you open that little box and you see the little logo. And look at this color. It's in the shade Torrid. It is so pretty. It has a kind of dusty rose kind of color. I'm not going to be wasting these things because these things are like gold. But I'm just going to put a little dot on my hand. So you guys can see the color. I mean, this is so pretty. Of course, you know, when you use it, you just have to put a little bit and dot it on. Um, as I've seen in so many YouTube videos. But this is such a pretty rosy blush. I don't think you've seen it good, but anyway, you guys know I'll be testing all these things very, very soon once I get rid of these sniffles. So as we go on the blush, let me go with my second blush that I would have gotten. And this is the MAC Extra Dimension Blush. I mean, this is gorgeous. This is in the shade Hard to Get. And to me, this looks like it can also be used as like an eyeshadow. It is so pretty. Look at this shade. You're seeing that? I think this could be used as a blush. It could be used. It has a shimmer, so you know, it can give the highlighter effect. And it is so gorgeous. I know I'm going to be having so much fun with this. This is such an exciting, gorgeous product. So, Fox says, let's move on to uh, eyeliner. And I would have gotten these two Milani pencils. I have been hearing so much rave about Milani. I have a Milani blush. A blush boy? Yes, a blush which I love. Um, and the thing is, I find you don't really get much Milani stuff in Trinidad. I mean, if you go to Pennywise, you would see that they have the... Well, they have like these and stuff. But a lot of the stuff that you'll see the YouTubers using, you know, the more fancy, colorful, fun stuff, you don't really get it here. So Milani is always welcomed and you can never have enough brow products. And guys, I got a concealer as well, which is the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hours. Look at this shade. This is such a beautiful shade. This shade is NC55. I mean, look at this. I'm not going to put it on. Because <laughs> of course I ain't got some no makeup. But this is such a pretty shade. I don't know if it will be too too dark for me, but I'm really excited to see how this applies and how it looks. Of course, MAC is MAC. MAC is like, whenever you start makeup, that's the first thing you'll be hearing about. Um, and I've never tried the concealer. So I'm excited to try this and I want to see what this kind of shade looks like on me. If it will give me a more neutral, highlighted look or if it won't. I mean, I don't know, but... That's the fun thing about trying new things. So now we're on to setting powders. You know I love my Fenty. You know I got no Fenty coins or no Fenty dollars. And y'all, I got some Fenty. I got 
I think this is the, the travel size. I'm not sure. I know this is not the full size, but I, I, I think this is the travel size. And I'm, I know when I was looking at some of the YouTube, YouTubers, I don't know what's up with my tongue right now. They kept going on about this, this size in that this is somewhat of the perfect size, especially if it is you're trying out something new. Um, the packaging of this is so beautiful. Look at that. It's like a little mirror. You know, I see you. Yeah, it is so beautiful. I've heard people say so many great things about it. You know, they talk about the texture and the finish. And it's so cute because now I got my own. So I can try it out and see for myself. As well as I got a sample of the Laura Mercier, another favorite, which I have not gotten the opportunity to try. Um, I'm guessing this is a trial size, but I'm excited to try this as well. You guys know these are going into my stash for formal events. This is not going to be my stash to play around in. As much as it may be sample or small size, I am saving these things for important events. Mm. I got some lashes too, folks. And you guys know my struggles with lashes. If you have been following me, you know that this is the most... <sighs> this is the hardest thing for me. But I really, really want to get into it. I, I have bought another pack as well that I've been practicing with. So, lashes are always welcome. Um, I got these two kiss one in the shade in the style graceful, which is this. I'm really excited to try this one because they're so long and fluttery. Really excited about this one. And I got this one in Ritzy, which is a more a shorter look. Um, but I'm excited to see how it looks with this one. And of course, you know the most exciting part of any makeup haul makeup purchase is always the palettes and i got this um urban decay palette in bail out guys if you see these shades if you see these shades again beautiful packaging and i love beautiful packaging because i you could use it for decoration as well so look at these shades this is such a gorgeous neutral palette you see this shade pick me up I'll be testing this palette very soon for you guys. This is such a gorgeous shade. I don't want to touch them up too much. It's like a shh. Sh it looks like a kind of lilac-y, whitey, but it has a kind of purple, sh purple shift. I don't know if they call this dual chrome or what they call this, but oh my gosh. This is gorgeous and I'm really excited. So this next this product is something that I've been eyeing for a while and I really wanted to test out. It's the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. Primers are something that you have to be very careful with because I think that it is sort of like the base for the whole makeup and depending on if the primer is good or if it's not good, that kind of gives you an idea of the longevity of your makeup. And I know e.l.f. is really good with foundation, with primers as well and this is tone adjusting. So it's kind of interesting to me to see exactly how this works. And I think with everything that I would have gotten today, I would have got basically a full face of makeup. So I'm kind of excited to see if I do a full face, how it will pan out. But this I'm really, I'm really interested in and I'm really excited to see just how it works out, how good it is and how it So folks, I mean look at this. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> look at all these face masks. You guys know that skincare is important to me. And these are a lot of face masks. These are from Real Nature. I got the face shop. Yeah, I got an aloe. I got a couple of shea butter. I got some honey. And I got some pomegranate. And this is a lot. I love face masks. I know my sister's already eyeing these and I will share with you guys. But I mean face masks are the issue. And if all that wasn't enough, I got samples, guys. I mean samples are life. So I got a Smashbox number one primer. The original finish mood and blur primer from Smashbox. A sample. And I love Smashbox. I had a Smashbox primer before you. This one, the photo finish for minimizing. And I really love this. I really love it. Um, I only use this really if I'm going anywhere and it's going to be a long day. 
and you guys can see it's almost finished and sometimes i wear it without makeup like if i'm going somewhere and it's really not a makeup setting and but i still want to look dry and not oily yes i put on this I will put on my moisturizer and everything and then I'll put this on my face and it usually helps me last day. So Smashbox primers, I'm all for it. As well as I got a NARS sample. This is for the foundation and the concealers. Of course, you know, you always hear good things about NARS. But what I am wondering is if how much from the sample I can get. If I can do a look, because I'm thinking that's what I want to do. I want to try to do a look with everything that I would have gotten today. Um, so I don't know if a little goes a long way, which I'm hoping. And that I can probably get a full face of makeup with one of these little samples, you know. I'll be testing that and trying that. As well as the concealers uh, matching to go with it. I have the colors in the back here. And this looks like it's just really um, some of the darker shades. So that's fun and then i got the fenty pro filter i got some sample sheets in this too um to test out to see what my shade is as well as a tarte amazonian clay samples i got a beauty blender sample just to test it out to see if i like it and more excitingly i got some mascara samples i got a reference volumizing a smashbox super fun and a Lancome Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara. So that's it. I think that was a lot. I'm really excited about everything. Um, I really, really wish I could have done a face today, but I really ain't feeling that right now. This cool how I'm feeling the um, deadish inside. <laughs> um, so that's it for my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are excited to see what I come up with when I'm actually ready to test out these things. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so that you wouldn't miss out on any of my uploads. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.